Are you ready to upgrade your carry pistol? Are you tired of reloading after every shot? Are you tired of burning your fingers? Well, let me introduce you to a new Miracle Breakthrough product. It's called the Springfield Armory Hellcat. And here is one. An amazing, an amazing product. Let me put down the Rob Lethem's carry pistol over there. Okay. And let's talk about this pistol. Yes, Hickok 45. It is the Springfield Armory Hellcat. I haven't lost my mind totally but I wanted to get your attention. It's a nine millimeter. You've heard about it. You've been asking us about it continuously. And so we're gonna give you our opinions, okay? I'll give you mine. And if you don't see John, I will relay some of his opinions. And we're gonna shoot it and talk about it. The Springfield Armory Hellcat, oop, Hellcat. It's a family friendly channel. All right, let's put the ears on. Shoot the thing a couple of times at least. Like maybe even the stop sign. Yeah, I got another round. <laughs> you know what? I even have another magazine here that holds 13. Ooh, 13 bullets. Let's shoot some more stuff. Yeah, dog is. <laughs> I went on into the paper. I just, uh, I don't know, I got crazy, you know, with this heck hat, you know. So you don't mind if we call it a heck cat, do you? Uh, we really don't like these profanity in our videos. Actually, I guess since that's what it's called, we'll call it the Hellcat. So, yes, uh, a lot of people curious about this pistol, and uh, so was I, because it falls into that category of, uh, you know, the, the P365. So, it's impossible to talk about this pistol without talking about the SIG P365. They're both pretty innovative in a lot of ways, and so we will do that to a degree. And let you know what uh, what I think of. So it's great to be able to get this pistol. Actually, I have two of them. I have the the one with the RMS uh, C uh, shield side on it. Got borrowed that from a buddy. So we've got that, and then we've got the standard uh, you know model. This is called the what the OSP model for you know optic sight pistol. Okay, and I'll let you know what I think of that. Okay, I, you know, that's something I don't do very much uh, at all. <laughs> and I have shot it, though, shot both of these, shot the, this one extensively and that one a fair amount to, to get a feel for that. And so I'll let you know what I think about that, because some of you maybe are in that same uh, ballpark trying to decide whether you might want an optic, optic uh, you know, on your, on your handgun. Because I, I hear from a lot of people that have eyesight issues, seeing the sights and that sort of thing with their glasses or you know, whatever it might be. So we're firing federal ammo, all this good, luscious uh, federal 124 grain ammo. We appreciate their help, federal premium, okay? And don't forget some other folks that help us, like Sonoran Desert Institute. We really appreciate the help from the sdi.edu. Go check out their site and look at all the interesting coursework that you could take. You could get a degree. You could learn a lot. You could be as smart as I am if you really work at it. Yeah, right? Pretty funny, huh? So... We appreciate all the help we get. And again, it's cool to be able to, to get these without buying it, uh, although I might want to buy one, but to uh, try it out. So thanks again, buds. Uh, the Hellcat. It's uh, it's new. It's Springfield Armory. And, you know, there's some controversy around Springfield Armory. We're not going to get into all that. Don't know all the specifics. I know there's two sides to that story and all that. So, you know, if that just is the total turnoff, tell you I, I understand you know it's not a firearm you're gonna buy you don't want to hear about so you know you can go somewhere look at something else <laughs> but I understand you know that so but I again there's a couple three different schools of thought on all that and so uh, I'm not sure where where all that uh, really comes comes out uh, so it, it's a very it's a pistol very much like the p365 okay and uh, you know we're gonna you're gonna hear me referring to both back and forth because uh, you know it's it's high capacity quote unquote as compared with a Glock 43 which I have out here and I've got the I've got the the shield it's higher capacity than the shield it's not higher well yeah it is <laughs> higher than the Glock 26 actually. With it, you have 10 plus 1. We're talking flush mags now. I mean, I could put a 333 round mag in there if I want to. But we're talking flush mags on all these firearms. So you're talking 10 plus 1. You're talking, I think, 7 plus 1 on the shield. Uh, the Glock 43, you're talking, what, 6 plus 1 and all that. And what we have here, the oh, yeah, the 43X, you're talking 10 plus 1 with it. And, of course, you got the longer grip. Okay? 
same length as the Glock 19. So just to kind of put them all in perspective, we're not going to be comparing for three hours all these pistols and everything. Mainly we'll talk about these two and then what we think of this. And before it gets too hot, let me go ahead and just show you how it breaks down. Push up on the lever. There we go. It, I mean, it's a simple procedure. You do pull the... And yeah, normally, I mean, I double, triple check, which I didn't do, but uh, you got to pull the trigger. Oh, how horrible. You got to pull the trigger, get it apart, and there's nothing too crazy about the internals. It looks like all these pistols we've seen. All right, fine striker uh, block there and everything. Seems seems well made. Uh, one thing about it, I think the, uh, the rails here seem pretty beefy. Uh, if you notice that? pretty pretty beefy you know some pistols that are very successful and very durable have fairly anemic looking rails you know so just that's of interest to you okay and i've wrapped this up uh, uh <laughs> there's no talon grips for it yet and i don't you know if my hands weren't so large i don't know i don't i can't really speak to it whether you would need some additional grip here's one without any grips of course and it's still kind of small for me that's the thing and i and i really i don't get the friction that they talk about uh i don't get enough friction i like friction and uh, there's not enough there so i got to wrap them up and also i wanted to to kind of compare apples to apples for myself and for you all so i wanted to get this grip feeling better and feeling more like the uh, 365 because i've beefed it up with two layers of talon grips and i just wrap some around here to kind of e equate that uh, be uh, equal to it and uh, so they both have they both feel fine to me in terms of the grip size so that's not a problem otherwise if i were comparing this and this you know without any wrap on that i'd be just bad mouthing that grip a lot and i don't want to unnecessarily bad mouth it or bash it if we bash something we want it to be well deserved okay grips are something you can modify okay so there they are. They're beautiful. Now, before I go any further, I want to thank again Atmex.com. Uh, Atmex is a distributor, a seller of precious metals and ammunition. Look at that 45. That's made of silver. It's not real. It won't fire. But we appreciate their support. Check the uh, links in our description. There's a Hickok 45 favorites page of all kinds of cool stuff in the precious metals world. And uh, speaking of precious metals, here's some right here. The uh, difference, uh, quick overview, basically, in the claim to fame, the reason so, there's so much talk about this right now is like the P365, you know, when that came out recently, they were able to get 10 rounds in a flush magazine. And if you're not, I mean, there's new people every day, hundreds, thousands of them, so you may not be familiar, but there's 10 rounds, 10 plus one in a small gun, okay, about the same size as a Glock 43. So that was the big deal with that. Well, now... Springfield's come out with a Hellcat, and it has 11 plus one. The magazine I pulled out and shot first had 11, just like this one. Yeah, 11. And so I've got 11 rounds in there, and it's flush fit. All right. Also a magazine that holds 13. All right. And that's available. And, of course, you have that with the, the SIG. You've got the, what's this, the, the 12? Yeah, 12. And then you also have a 15-rounder, which I keep handy, okay, because I carry that sometimes. Uh, so you got... Uh, Longer magazines available for both of them. Uh, they're, they're roughly the same size. And you'll see a ton of videos on these things. So we'll give you as much as we can here, but we're not going to go over everything. They're roughly the same size. I've measured them. I've weighed them. They're about the same length. There's not enough difference really anywhere to write home about. Okay? There's just really not. They both weigh around 18 and a quarter, 18 and a half ounces. In fact, I weighed them a couple of times. So, And I know that's important to people. This SIG weighs uh, about, let's see, what's it? Uh, it's just a tad more, like a quarter of an ounce or you know, more than the Hellcat. But when you get the extra round in the Hellcat, 11 plus 1, so if you load them up, they'd be almost exactly, I mean, right down to the quarter of an ounce, really, because a bullet, uh, I think, weighs a quarter of an ounce generally or something like that. So, so it's only the same weight, about the same thickness, uh, length, uh, grip length. You know, as far as flush magazine. So none of that is going to be a big difference maker if you're trying to decide. Now, I will say the uh, the Hellcat, the slides are about the same. And I put the calipers on. The The uh, frame is just a little bigger. You know, the frame on the, the SIG 
Now your controls stick out a little bit, protrude there, but you know your uh, frame really is no thicker than than the slide there. You do have an extra thickness there, but it's not a lot at all. Not enough to make a difference, put it that way. Now one place that does make a difference, I think, and one thing I like about this over the stick, I like them both. I'll tell you, I've been shooting this one a lot, and I like them both. Uh, the Hellcat has a little more girth, just a little more sub uh, substance to the grip. All right. Uh, I think if I were wrapping tape around them and putting layers of talon grips on them, I might want ideally two or three layers of talon grips on this this one. It would take one less layer on this, okay? So I like that added girth. You may not, but I do. It feels it just feels better to me, okay? But as far as weight and everything else, uh, that's the same. You've got a flat trigger on this. You've got more of a, it's a striker fire, of course. Feels a little more like a Glock, a lot of the triggers you're used to, whereas the SIG is a little different. It's nice. They both have great resets. They have pretty good trigger pulls, as we know, both of them do. Uh, the SIG is famous for having a great trigger. I like the trigger on this pretty well. It's a little more crisp than uh, maybe the uh, the SIG, okay? Uh, it's got a little, if you do it slowly, they got a little creep there, but it, it really, you pull it up and shoot the thing, it's, it's pretty crisp. It's got a little bit of a wall like I like. Let me shoot it again. And I've got a, yeah, got plenty of ammo here. All right, let's shoot this baby. Like I said, I've been shooting it, and uh, I, I have been feeling good about how it shoots. Now, I may not shoot it well right now or something, but it just feels pretty good. I just... I just weak, uh, <laughs> what do you call that? I didn't limp wrist it, but I weak loaded it. There's probably a name for that. <laughs> a phrase for that. All right, let's just uh, shoot something here. Yeah, I mean, I like the sights on it. It's got that U sight, and I, I'm able to shoot it uh, pretty well for me. Yeah. It just comes right on target. Today, I was earlier today, I was, I was messing around over there on the hill and hitting those red plates uh, regularly. I'll miss them now, of course, because you all are watching over my shoulder. Let's try the left one. <laughs> That's just the way it goes, isn't it? Oh, I got it. Let's try the next one on the right. Oh, later not, try it. Try it on the far right. I'm going to try that pig in the middle of the field. There we go. Ooh, got a couple of pigs. Uh, so even though those are kind of a combat site, uh, defensive site, I, I feel pretty good about just planking stuff at longer ranges with them, just like I do with the SIG. So, you know, Interesting gun and, and a lot of capacity. Uh, it's what's called stack and a half magazine or something. And uh, at 11 versus 10 on these firearms, not a big enough difference to, again, to make a, a choice probably. There's nothing wrong with an extra round. But, uh, yeah, they, they both feel good to me. And I tell you, I like that extra size on the grip. And uh, I could take either one of these things and just carry it for the rest of the week and feel really good about it. I mean, that's the bottom line. John has shot them both, shot them back to back, and I'll do some of that. He prefers the SIG. I think it kind of wins out for me, maybe. Uh, I, I still can't get away from that added uh, size of the grip on the, uh, the Hellcat. It, it just feels better to me. I like the flat trigger. And... You know, but in terms of shooting them, I don't think there's a much difference. And of course, they are defensive pistols. They're not very big. I think what I'm going to do is load two of these, and I'm going to shoot them back to back, and uh, you know, do it that way. All right. So, uh, what else about it? Uh, it? It's got this. They're real proud of this new grip texture. We call it adaptive grip. Uh, no, adaptive grip texture. And it's supposed to be kind of a miracle. And we should have done infomercial on that grip, right? <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's fine, I'm sure. But it, where it, it's it's a little small for me. 
Uh, I, I can't be impressed. It's supposed to, the tighter you grip it, the better it works, which any grip would, right? So what I'm going to do, I've got, yeah, I've got SIG mags loaded, I've got these loaded, and uh, I'm just going to shoot a little bit through both of them. So while the, the feel is kind of fresh in my mind, this helps me, maybe it'll help you. Okay, so, all right, I'm just going to, I'll try to do kind of the same thing and just, just take some shots here. I'll even come out of the holster. Let's put one in the tube. That'll just come out of the holster. They both fit the same holster. It's a Glock 43 holster. So that tells you they're about the same thickness, you know. All right, let's shoot something. Yeah. All right, well, that's fresh on my mind, on my hand. Let me shoot this one the same way, just kind of messing around here. Yep. Let's put one in the chamber and then do it. How's that? All right, uh, a lot of bad guys out there. Feels good. I I tell you a difference, and John and I both notice it. This uh, you know it's a small gun, so it's going to jump a little bit. It's going to be a little uh, what's that they call the four? Oh, it's snappy. Yeah, it's a little snappy. Uh, a little bit more than the Sig is my impression. A little bit more. Different spring setup and all that probably. So it's a little snappier, but not enough to bother me. Uh, if you're a new shooter and you were to shoot both of them like that you might come to the conclusion you would prefer the SIG for that reason, okay? Let's try that again, get a good feel for it. I'm gonna kinda of dump a bunch of them on the something. And try that with the other one. Yeah, maybe a little bit less recoil impulse. I think the smaller grip, you notice I sort of was losing my grip a little bit, uh, affected me. Uh, this little bigger helps me, as I've said, about eight times. So uh, that might be important if you have large hands. So not a lot of difference. Let me show you about this. It comes with the, uh, I think it's about 30 bucks extra. Uh, these sell for, they're going to sell, I think, or they are selling for around under five generally. Uh, I don't know, 480 or something, and then maybe over five with the plate, you know, the OSP model. So you can put this on here if you want to. Now, I'm not sure what those cost. That, that may be a couple hundred bucks for the actual site. But, uh, you know, it might make sense to get one of these with the plate so that, you know, you may think you don't want to ever put an optic on it like that. But then again, you may change your mind and you've got that option. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of them would be, different ones will be coming out for it. This one, the RMSC is out now. Uh, and there'll be others coming. Okay, so this is, Kind of a new thing for me, and I have no mags loaded, right? Uh, it, it's a new thing for me. I just, with a handgun, I am not accustomed to that. And uh, if you never fired one, I, sh I shot it this afternoon several times. It's weird. It's a real change, especially on a small, jumpy pistol like that. But I have to say, I, I shot it better than I expected. Uh, the bullet does tend to go where that red dot is. <laughs> you know, we all, most of us are accustomed to firing, you know, like a rifle with that, and it's, it's just really sweet, you know. A handgun's a little different proposition, but uh, it does go where the red dot is. So, oh, uh, let's just pull it out and try Try something that's not too easy, maybe like the, the tree here. Oh, uh, I gotta find the dot, there it is. So it, it'll take, let me try a red plate over there. Yeah. Okay, got him. I mean, even at long range, it's kind of a bright uh, affair. I'm gonna try the buffalo. Okay, try the gum. Okay, try something up close, like that two liter right. <laughs> Cowboy. Yeah. So I can see the appeal to that. Yeah, I mean, I really can. 
I, I, I'm not ready for it, but a lot of people are, and a lot of people prefer it, even if they have excellent eyesight. And so that's something that's available. All right, so it's cool to have a, have that to kind of show, and, and also for my sake, because I've been meaning to like get a hold of one of these and buy it or something and install it on something and kind of just do a video on it. And so I'm kind of glad to try that out. It's a bit of a new thing for me. Okay. And uh, I'm reminded a couple of things. You've got uh, your witness all there. You can tell where there's around the chamber. Uh, I showed you the sides. Of course, that co-witnesses your sites. Uh, I, I kind of like that site. I wouldn't have thought of it because I'm not crazy about new, dramatically different uh, sites. Uh, so that that's pretty cool and uh, the mag release is reversible flat trigger. I like like I said, it, it's got a Nice reset and a fairly crisp trigger See the resets not very long and you know, there's no major problems with the trigger at all I don't think about would have a big problem. I did read where it's a uh, where I forget what, what they call it, standoff. That's right. It's called a standoff uh, 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 on the front where if you and it is not loaded of course where you could push against something you know still fire but i know they're both like that so we get caught up in that too big because if if i push if i'm pushing against the guide rod you know that one will still shoot i'm pushing on that okay but now if i'm if i've got any part of that slide on there it's a different story it's not going to fire same with this one so if it's moved at all that trigger won't pull so, so as long as you're pressing somebody <laughs> with the guide rod, you're okay. Okay, it is a defensive pistol. All right, what else about it? Uh, I know you're trying to get to dinner. The only thing I didn't do was maybe shoot a couple of hollow points I meant to do. Uh, put a couple of those in. So it's another offering. It's in the same price range, same weight, basically, <laughs> same size, and holds one more round. So it's really gonna come down to what? whether you're kind of brand loyal probably for a lot of people to uh, sig or to springfield you like the feel of it better i'll tell you i know people like for us to uh, to come to a conclusion and bash one fall in love with the other uh but i really can't bash either one and uh it's hard for me to choose them to tell you the truth uh i would like to have both and I might possibly choose the Hellcat for uh, the reason that I've talked about, because it's a little bit bigger. I like that. I think they both are great shooters and feel great. Okay. So let's try and make sure it'll fire some hollow points. All right. I was messing around a little bit on the paper target. Let's put one on it right in the middle, if we can. All right. Wow. Did I pull that thing up badly? That's pathetic. Oh, I can't tell where I'm going. Uh, it can't be. Oh, there's some targets I missed. <laughs> yeah, that's a good shot. I don't know what I'm doing on paper, but it feels great. It feels great. Uh, okay, so uh, negatives. Like I say, for some people, it, it uh, facts is Springfield Armory. That would be a negative. You know, there's still uh, some of that out there. Uh, the the, uh, the the grip, to me, is still a little small, smaller than it has to be. But uh, for most of you, that's probably not an issue. And uh, the breakdown is simple. I like the sights. It's got uh, lots of serrations to grab, and it has not malfunctioned. Um, trigger is, is fine. Uh, I could carry this thing without any trouble and, and be happy doing it. Um, reversible mag release, as I said. Or you've got the 13 round mag to carry if you want to, along with the other. Or if you just want a longer mag in it, uh, you've got that option. And I did say you've got a, a night sight. There's a tritium insert in that night sight, I think, that front sight. So uh, the Hellcat, I'd say, is, uh, is going to be pretty successful, just like the SIG. One, one thing to point out, of course, is that the uh, SIG has had some issues you know, early on. Now, we've not had issues with even that very first one we had a year and a half ago, whenever that was. I and mean, John has one. I've got two of them, and I had a malfunction, okay? But the, uh, the data is there. You know, there have been people with problems. 
Now we don't know about this. It's not out in huge numbers yet, but uh, you know there might be something pop up with this. Who knows? But right now, uh, based on our experience, uh, you know John prefers the Sig. I, I think I prefer the Sig. I like to feel this one a little better in some ways, but uh, you know no major major negatives that, that I can I can think of really. So it's it's one and it's the the role we serve we hope for you. It's one you want to look at, as I say often, okay? If you can rent this at a, at a range and, and the SIG and anything else, uh, you want to take a look at it because you get 11 rounds here plus one without having a longer grip, you know, like the 43X and some of those. So it might really appeal to you, or you might want the longer grip. Some people really do and shoot it much better. So the Hellcat, Heckcat, is a, uh, seems like it's a pretty, pretty decent pistol at this point, okay? So we'll keep an eye on it. And I'm going to want to own one, I think, and so we'll we'll get a hold of one that we that we purchase probably, and shoot it, and you know, just like a lot of you, we'll see how how it does. So, Springfield Armor Hillcat, another nice offering. We're living in great times in terms of pistol choices because there's the the competition is strong, and uh, some cool firearms still coming out all the time. Anything else I forgot? No. Glad you came out to watch, and we'll talk to you later. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballastol.com, TalonGunGrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.